Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most important discoveries in the field of medicine, penicillin. This revolutionary antibiotic has saved countless lives and changed the way we treat bacterial infections. Join us as we delve into the history of penicillin, how it works, and its impact on the world of medicine. Get ready to learn all about this miracle drug right here on our channel. Introducing Penicillin Penicillin is a type of antibiotic that is widely used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It was discovered in 1928 by Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming, who noticed that a mold that had contaminated one of his petri dishes had produced a substance that prevented the growth of bacteria. This substance was later identified as penicillin, and its discovery revolutionized the field of medicine and paved the way for the development of modern antibiotics. If you are new here, a warm welcome, we are a group of retired professors behind Team Biotech Whisperer, making bite-sized videos for life sciences. So, if you're ready, let's dive into the world of antibiotics and learn more about these fascinating medicines. How Penicillin Works Penicillin works by interfering with the ability of bacteria to build their cell walls. Bacteria have a cell wall that surrounds the cell membrane and protects the bacterium from the environment. The cell wall is made up of a complex array of sugars and amino acids that are assembled in a particular way. Penicillin acts by binding to specific sites on the bacterial cell wall which interferes with the ability of the bacterium to build the wall and grow. Highly specific microbicidal activity. One of the key advantages of penicillin is its specificity. Unlike other antibiotics that may harm both harmful and beneficial bacteria, penicillin is selective and only targets the harmful bacteria. This helps to reduce the risk of developing antibiotic resistance and ensures that the normal microflora of the body are not affected. Current medical use Penicillin was first used clinically in the early 1940s, and since then it has become one of the most widely prescribed antibiotics in the world. It is effective against a wide range of bacteria, including streptococci, which cause strep throat and other infections, staphylococci, which cause skin and wound infections, and pneumococci, which cause pneumonia and meningitis. Penicillin is also used to treat other infections, such as syphilis, gonorrhea, and Lyme disease. Medical Formulations Penicillin is available in several forms, including oral tablets and capsules, injections, and topical creams. The choice of formulation depends on the type and severity of the infection, as well as the age and health of the patient. In some cases, penicillin may be combined with other antibiotics to enhance its efficacy or to treat infections caused by bacteria that are resistant to penicillin alone. Limitations Despite its widespread use and proven efficacy, penicillin is not without its limitations. Some bacteria have developed resistance to penicillin, making it less effective in treating certain infections. In addition, some individuals may be allergic to penicillin, which can lead to serious side effects such as anaphylaxis. For these reasons, it is important to use antibiotics like penicillin judiciously and only when necessary, and to always follow the dosing instructions provided by a healthcare provider. Summary. In conclusion, penicillin is a highly effective antibiotic that has revolutionized the field of medicine and improved the health and well-being of countless individuals. Its discovery and development have paved the way for the development of modern antibiotics and have helped to reduce the burden of bacterial infections around the world. Despite its limitations, penicillin remains an important tool in the fight against bacterial infections, and its impact on the field of medicine and public health will continue to be felt for generations to come. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video on antibiotics.
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on health and related topics.